A local school district could be facing deep cuts that eliminate all elective classes for students. 23 ABC South County reporter Chris Ornelas is in the newsroom tonight. He spoke to the district about those possible cuts. Chris. Well, Greenfield Union School District will vote tonight on a plan that could eliminate 59 positions district-wide. That's huge for a district with only 12 schools. Ongoing state budget problems means more cuts for school districts statewide. In Greenfield Union School District, the proposed cuts are deep. 35 K through 6 teachers, all of the district's 15 assistant principals, and the elimination of all art, Spanish, and music teachers. We have to budget now as if the cuts will take effect. and We have to do that by law. The cuts represent four and a half million dollars out of the district's 60 million dollar budget. At a meeting tonight, the school board will decide how many employees will be notified they could be laid off. Greenfield is offering early retirement to teachers 55 or over. The more teachers that take it, the fewer that will have to be laid off. Our viewpoint is if we can get close to 30 people accept the retirement incentive offer, that we won't have to lay off anyone. But the district would still lose the positions, which means more kids in every class next year. It might affect their class size. I mean, now they have, you know, a pretty big class size, but that could affect them even more. A proposed tax increase on the November ballot could stop further cuts, but it wouldn't restore any of the positions until the following school year. Parents we talk to are worried about the impact the cuts will have on their kids' education. They're not going to be able to get the one-on-one -on -one like they're getting now with the teachers. The district superintendent says he shares parents' concerns. Kids are the ones that suffer on this. Now, the measure on the November ballot would provide more money for education. If you'd like to read the measure, it's on our website, turn to 23com In the newsroom, Chris Arnellis, 23ABC.